back on board Royal Caribbean's Odyssey of the Seas, day number six of our cruise, and we find ourselves in Mykonos, Greece. But you can't really see it. So let's go get a better view. Yeah, there's Mykonos. And as you can see, we will be tendering once again, though not nearly as far of a distance to go, just right over there. A lot different looking than Santorini. Still a lot of white buildings. I know there's some blue domes here as well, but you can see it's not nearly as high or built up. You can kind of just come in at sea level and, and work your way up. Some windmills over there too. Lots of fun stuff. So let's go ahead and get it started. Day number six on board Royal Caribbean's Odyssey of the Seas and here in Mykonos, Greece starts right now. Still in Greece, so I'm gonna continue to sing Hercules. Mykonos was on a roll. Oh, and since we're still in Greece, Meow Mamiya, here we go again. Meow meow. Meow 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 meow. It's sat or day. Hello. Boats. I mean, I understand it's way more convenient when you don't have a tender boat, but I always enjoy the boat ride. And along those terms, we read that if you're going to just be exploring on your own, walking around the town, it's actually better to tender here because if you're one of the only, only one ship can dock is our understanding, which is the carnival ship off in the distance. But you see how far away that is. So you have to would then have to walk all this way or get a taxi or whatever. Whereas if you tender, you park right there where Odyssey of the Seas is and the tender boat comes right over here and drops you off. And then the town's back that way. <laughs> so, hey, win-win. in love with this yacht here. It doesn't translate as much on camera, but it has this lovely teal color, which is like my faves, like my watch. There we go. Like my sunglasses, like my shoes. <laughs> so I've nicknamed it the Teal Seal, and I wish we could go on it, but we can't. By the way, no excursion scheduled today. No plans either. Just, just gonna walk around and explore a bit. Yeah, just uh, letting Mykonos take us to where it wants us to go. I'm gonna enjoy this sunshine, I'm gonna enjoy this water, because this is the most watercolor we've had on this cruise thus far. It's pretty. Let's take a look. Nice, clear action right here in the shallows, and then you start to get some variations of blue and green out a little bit deeper before it gets really deep, turns to that dark blue. Kind of reminds me of the Pacific Coast here with the rocks. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Like when we swam with the sea lion in Cabo San Lucas. I think we'll see the differentiation in color like once we get higher. Yeah, something's afoot. Something's squawking over here. It's geese! Look at the geese! Look at the size of those geese! Are those geese or ducks? I said geese, but maybe they're ducks. Those are geese. They're, they kind of act more like geese. So geese are different than a duck. Yeah, like they're obviously not Canadian geese like we see back home. And then a, and then a pigeon's trying to get in on it. I, I don't... Why is you pigeon? I wouldn't tangle with those geese. <laughs> they're kind of uh, intense. They're loving that latouche. We just found the most amazing photo spot that it seems like nobody knows about and was completely empty and we're sharing the secret. 
with you. Yeah, you. So back that way is where the ship was, and this is like the general funnel of people coming through into this alleyway. Here's some of the like shops and stuff. This one, I'm not gonna pretend like I know how to pronounce it, but if you wanna find where the spot is, like look up these gift shops on like Google Maps. Next to this blue heron, this blue uh, lantern, across from this gift shop, turn into this little alleyway right here and just keep walking and walking and walking and you eventually get to this very cute, oh, watch out their steps. You eventually get to this very cute little like residential area with all these steps, the blue doors, the blue railings, the blue shutters, the bougainvilleas coming down and you can take some really nice pictures here on this step. I will say, just be mindful that it seems like we're in a residential area right now, so I would just be careful not to be too loud and be respectful of that. We ran into no issues, but like, this is, I mean, this is a really cute spot. Yeah, the, the paths and the stairways are public, so you're welcome to go yeah. through those, but you know, the, these little stoops and things like that, those are private residences. But, I mean, come on. This is the kind of stuff you can reap when you just get off the beaten path a little bit. And we have had nobody coming through. So it's not too often you see a photo spot in this touristy of a place all to yourself. Hiked up to the top. Is check it out. Windmill action. Of course, no longer fully operational, but still cool to see nonetheless. Check out the view from up here. Got red roofs with bells right there, blue shutters and blue railings. Of course, all the white buildings. Look at this, a red dome. Yeah, a red dome church. And then, of course, the sea, the ships in the background, mountains in the distance. This is fan. Fantastic. And you can see the set of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six windmills over there. They're more famous ones. We're up here at this windmill. And then there's also another one there, right behind the red uh, roof church there. Actually, you can kind of see it behind the cross on the left. So there's like the two little tower. There it is. Right behind that is the other windmill. If you come to this middle one, there's this little path right here that'll take you down to like this like little skinny platform that we're on. You can get a great picture of the windmill. So here's the stairs down. Just watch your step because they're not true stairs, just stone. And, and watch the cactus and the prickly pear. <laughs> and just walk out right there. And then you turn around, uh -huh. like put the that. camera out in front of you like that. And then? The windmill's right above you. Right above you, behind you. Great picture. I read that this whole island used to be powered by a bunch of these windmills and cool. no longer the case. They they don't serve a purpose anymore. They're just used, you know, just basically artifacts. But yes, this island used to have a ton of these windmills and was completely powered by them. And if you're looking to come to this specific spot during your visit, which you should, because the view is fantastic. You have like a bajillion good photo opportunities. This particular windmill is called? Not sure on the pronunciation, but it looks like Bonnie's or Bonies. It's B-O-N-I apostrophe S windmill. Bonnie's windmill, Bonnie's windmill. Read about it online, said everyone knows about the six in a row over there and they all go over there to get pictures. But so it's more crowded and you're much closer to sea level. Whereas this one obviously is elevated, you're seeing the whole town, you're seeing the ships, the water. I love the red dome here with the blue. Yes. On. And so it's just, a, it's a great spot, really great spot to get photos. So far, I would assess that Mykonos is kind of like a toned down version of Santorini. It's a good way of putting it. It's not quite as grand and there's way less people, but it has kind of the similar vibe, right? Like the little paths, mm -hmm. white buildings, blue, but more red, uh, bougainvillea flowers, yeah. It has like the charm and like way less busy, Yeah. way less tourism. I like it, I like it a lot. I do too. Oh. 
Good thing these aren't real pigeons or things could get messy. <laughs> these look like geodes. And this is a dude. Is it geodude? We discovered a cactus forest. At first I thought it was a tree, but it's cacti. Overtaking. This is so cool. We're just exploring. We have no idea where we're going. And just turning down these paths. And they all kind of look like this. And look at this. Look at the clothesline up there. It's like something out of a movie. A TV show. Just wind your way through. And there's hardly anyone here. Now while we're on the topic of taking photos, this one is a busy one. However, some tips. Try leaning your phone up against these stairs and having like a picture going up at the side or try coming up these stairs and getting one from above. That might, uh, that might help you out with the crowd that has been ensuing this area. It is busy right here where we were earlier with the windmill. Not busy. Here, very busy. Let's leave. But, stay happy. <laughs> Welcome to Little Venice. This is awesome. Crowded and busy, but awesome. Right here on the water. No guardrail, no nothing. I, we could jump in right now. No. <laughs> Let me hang on to these. <laughs> thing about this spot along the sea is that you get a great view of the windmills the famous ones that are all grouped together <laughs> You do have like a, a, it's a road, but like, you know, a ramped surface to come up. So I guess it is a bit more accessible than the windmill we went to earlier. And I will say, it is pretty cool seeing them all lined up in a row. That is cool, but to me, this is nowhere near as good. I, I do like our solo windmill on our own, especially if you want to take a picture. Apparently, Mykonos' nickname is the island of the winds. I can't seem to figure out how or why. <laughs> you know, you've got all the windmills here. We kind of came up over on the other side and then you just walk in front of them. There's some little stone steps up, come behind the last windmill here and there's a little path down. You get a great view of the sea over here, the town's over on the other side. And then you can look out here to the point where it's extremely windy. <gasps> you can get a great view of the ship. Look at it right back there. And you can see why they put the windmills over here. It's so windy. This is a great view of the color of the water too. You're getting lots and lots of color. Really nice, really clear too. Documented for posterity, our first steps ever in the Aegean Sea. Playing around in the tide pools. Look at all the sea glass that we found. Isn't that cool? I like never find sea glass. So I'm like really excited that we found all this. So if you're in Mykonos and you come over to the windmills and you come down the rocks and you come to the beach and this first little set of big rocks here, come all the way out to the end and see if our pile of sea glass is still here. And if it is, let us know. Or you can ask more. Yeah, if it's still there, keep keep uh, piling on there. Yeah. 
And in case those rocks are a bit too much for you, there is a staircase that goes down to that beach as well if you want to enjoy it like we did. All those people over there who walk across the street, ghost town. Stop to say hello to this kitty, but then this one just hopped down from above. So many great kitties. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? I had no idea about this one. And it's like right up to a business, so you can like go and take pictures on that on those stairs. Yeah, just probably want to be, you know, a little, a little brief since it is an entrance to a business. Don't want to crowd the, the uh, stairwell there, but and go up, get your pick, and come on down. All the bougainvilleas. Oh. The colorful things they're selling kind of adds to it. I love it. I love Mykonos, and I love you. <laughs> and just for some perspective, we are not far from the windmills from this photo spot. So here you go. That's the actual business where these stairs are. Yeah, so if you look for that, I think you should end up here. Just keep in mind, beauty queens only. <laughs> you are the dancing queen. <laughs> And we chose this place because it had really high reviews on Google Maps, and we can see why. Uh, they were exceedingly friendly in there. You've tried your. I did. They gave me a, a sample taste of mine, which is the apple pie, and it's outstanding. Best guest here. <laughs> Love you so much. That's oh, so thank bad. you. <laughs> well, I just tried this. This is so good. I love them here. And this is delicious. And they... What was yours? It's like vanilla with dark it's chocolate? vanilla with like a, like hard dark chocolate. Ah, okay. It is so good. And like, holy cow, they are like the nicest people ever. Like, should definitely come here. And it, it's really easy to get to. Yeah, just right along the waterfront here. So the tenders drop off like over there and just kind of walk around here and you'll find it. The Milky Way. We have thoroughly enjoyed our day, but time to catch a tender boat and head back to the big ship. Got another souvenir. Da, da. Check it out. Of course, it says grease on it. Look at the colorful buildings, but most importantly, the windmill, which says Mykonos on it. Well, there you have it, friends. That is going to do it for us on Odyssey of the Seas, day number six, and here in Mykonos, Greece. What a lovely, lovely place this was. Oh, I absolutely loved it, and that sunset was like the perfect ending to a glorious day. Absolutely. Uh, tomorrow, day number seven, back on board Odyssey of the Seas, and we'll be stopping in Turkey. I think the uh, port city is Kadasi, but most people go to Ephesus. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing those right. As always, if you're interested in coming on board your own cruise, we can help make that happen. As travel agents, it's completely free to you. And if you've recently booked your cruise to Royal Caribbean in the past 30 days and you're not paid in full, you can transfer that booking to our agency free of charge and we'll be able to assist you the rest of the way. So we hope we'll hear from you soon.
Once again, thanks for joining us for today. We'll see you back tomorrow, day number seven, on board Royal Caribbean's Odyssey of the Seas and in Turkey. I, <laughs> I gotta learn how to say hello in Turkish. Ooh, good Tur luck with that. Turkish hello. <laughs> I have all night to study. There we go. <laughs> we are gonna sign off for tonight, so we'll see you back tomorrow. Happy, Happy travels! travels.